Well, it's Saturday night. Uh, I'm at home alone. <laughs> and uh, I thought, well, I'll start another painting. Um, I have an idea for it. Uh, a few years ago, I painted uh, a couple of panels uh, of different sizes, uh, studies of, it's sort of a nocturnal view, um, depicting an area along the, the uh, northern British Columbia coast in Canada. Uh, it's going to be pretty dark painting. I'm going to use a knife, I think. Anyway, I'm just going to start sketching. I have it called up on my computer screen behind me, so I'm going to be craning around referring to it because I don't want to copy it, but I'd kind of like to capture the essence of, of, of that which was there. So bear with me and uh, come along with me if you want and we'll just sketch it out. To me, get to start with on this painting, where the, where the land mass meets the sky is going to be fairly important. So I'm going to start with that. Uh, start with this foreground chunk here. As you can see, it's rough as always. Or, you know, regarding my sketches anyway, it's pretty rough. This is going to be, uh, uh, well, a cliff really, a stony cliff plunging down into the water. Sometimes you just got to go for it. Let your hand run with muscle memory because that sometimes is something you can trust. Sticking my tongue out here.
Ja. Yeah, I'm not really sure where to go with this. I'm, it's been done so quickly. It went better than I thought it was going to. thirds on this one because I wanted to leave the option open for putting some boulders in the foreground to help support the scene as well. So you know we're a third of the way up the canvas. This is a 24 by 30 inch canvas so I've gone up 8 inches. Now that I've scratched this in very quickly I think I'm probably going to support it with a bit of a rocky mass in the foreground. Um, focal area, I'm thinking, will be within this area, oddly enough, or you know, the area of highest value will be in this area. Anyway, everything else can change. As you know, every time I promise something, it changes. So I'm a liar, a filthy, disgusting liar. But at least I'm happy about it. So, you know, for the moment, we'll let, this is going to be quite light in here. We'll just draw an indicator line down here to remind myself, because I think these rocks in various areas are going to catch some light. Uh, so I want to remind myself this is the light source. And as I'm painting it, I need to remember that, that this is where the rocks, you know, these edges of the rocks will need to reflect, um, you know, bouncing off the light source, not just willy-nilly. Also in the water, it's going to need to be indicated in places. So I'll do that, and I'll, on the last painting, uh, I talked about for the sake of perspective, say, you know, it, it, was the, it was the sky in that case, but I've done away with that in that painting. And this one, it's the water. So well, let's just call this an inch. Let's call this two inches. All right, just a reminder, we'll call this four inches. That again is a guide. It'll be done away with. But it helps me to remember as I'm painting the painting. Um, where to put certain lines, how to highlight areas, where to put my values to help aid in the idea of, of perspective. And you know, just for the heck of it, there, how about that? Another mess from me. Big surprising. Eh? Anyway. Have a good night, guys.